This is him. <laughs> a face like that never changes. If anyone can get you an audience with the Earl, it's Sheriff Eustace. I hope Percy Hamley will show more understanding with us than he did with the people of Wigley. I'm concerned what kind of man Percy Hamley must have become to kill people for mere poaching. Good day, Sheriff. I must talk to the Earl. It's a legal matter of utmost urgency. Get in line, monk. Are they all waiting to see him? What did you expect on court day, monk? I fear this is going to take a while. I'll go look for Richard. Seeing that he's going into battle, he needs equipment. In the meantime, let's hope I can persuade the Earl to rethink this breach of our agreement. I'll talk to Meg about the sales of the Priory's wool as well. We will find a way to keep the Cathedral's construction going, Philip, with or without the stone and timber they took from us. We must. If they hadn't replaced Father, I could have helped them. I cannot help them. Things are taking place that will lead our generation to an end. Huh. Has the queue not moved at all? We stand like pillars of salt. But I am sure the Earl will accept petitioners soon. I hope it's before the workers at Kingsbridge leave the construction site because I cannot pay them. The wilting of Shiring is an omen of the things to come. The end is upon us, but our Earl will lead us to salvation. Is that so? A hard hand for hard times. It will all make sense. You will see. And our Earl will be the new They say that Jack's father was a thief and hanged in Shiring. Comes. Our Earl sees and our Earl acts. We are not lost. We must prepare ourselves. Hmm. Good quality. But I'm not here to buy anything. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is upon us. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Please, calm down. Good to see you, Meg. Maybe I'm here to collect the money talk. we've made so far. Um, excuse me. We were in the middle of something. What's the problem? Even you merchants have become thieves. What a rotten place this has become. He ordered the cartload of wool weeks ago. But now he refuses to pay the price we'd agreed upon. Let's think about why the prices are so high this year. So you can put more money into your pockets? Actually, the Earl has raised all fees. It costs more to pass the gate, to set up shop, to get a license, and to trade. I suppose. But the price is not as was agreed. <sighs> Did you use a tally to record the price? But, uh, are you with the Sheriff? Just who are you, woman? I am the owner of this business. Oh. Here's our Harfaliena. Now, would you kindly hand me your part of the tally? There are more notches on our part. Two pieces, two different prices. Granted, adding notches to our part would have been much easier. Aha! Uh -huh. You're admitting it. Mm, but the area with missing notches is thinner than the rest. You're right. It looks like something was carved off. Wh what? Are you saying I'm a fraud? 
Look, times are hard for all of us. I won't report you to the sheriff. <laughs> this wool will not make enough cloth for all of my master's servants' clothes. Let alone all the shirts he wants for himself. Whoever pays servants and wants to wear many shirts should be able to pay the price for quality wool like this. Quality? Yes, but it is not high quality. Now that you mention it, I see it. I cannot pay that much money for bad wool like this. No, he's doubting the quality. Fine. Then let me prove the quality of my wool. <coughs> Just you try. Outrageous. Let's negotiate. Three. Three! You're trying to rip I'm me just off. Give away for Let's free. work out a compromise. As it is written in the book of Matthew. Half of my crops. You thought the Earl was bad before. What are you carrying there? Not for sale. Or eating. Don't steal! Go away! Oh, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh. Where did you get this? I'm not a thief. A man in the tavern promised me a bread crust if I fetch this from the market for him. I'm just taking a little break. You look hungry. Are you saying I should keep it? Nuh-uh. Thieves get hanged. I'll be good. Uh, oh, of course. Do you have a family that supports you? My auntie sold flowers, but she couldn't afford to pay the taxes. Now I don't know where she is. I'm so hungry. Would you be free for a sales discussion later today? Ah, Lady Aliena. For you, I will always find time. I've heard business is slow. Not for me, it isn't. Plenty of knights need my services. His men have cleaned up well, I'd say. It suits me just fine that the Earl has swept the criminals off the streets. And those complaining about money and fees were never my customers or my friends. The town used to be much livelier. That's because the Earl and the Sheriff finally stepped up and got rid of all the thieves and cheats. I hope you're not stretching your wool before it's woven. I would never trick my customers. Good. Then you and me, we both won't get into trouble here in Shiring. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure of that. How much for a chainmail shirt? That's six pounds. Just for the chainmail? Well, I've got to make up for those taxes somewhere. Can I interest you in some horse bread? Is that the only kind you have here? It's the only one that hasn't gone green yet, I think. If you sell green bread, your customers will get sick and you'll get into trouble. What? Are, are you with the sheriff? 
No, don't worry. Everyone seems to be afraid of Sheriff Eustace. I always heard he was a fat and lazy man. It's not him. It's the Earl. Killed a good friend for milling without permission yesterday. Buried him under the rubble of his mill. What? Shouldn't you make fresh bread? <laughs> if I could afford it. If you bring grain from outside the town, you must pay taxes nowadays. My friend's mill out there was a blessing. Sometimes he even let me use it for free. Which was why they killed him. And I can't afford using the Earl's mills here in town. What is the Earl thinking? Why is he hurting the business in town? I don't know. Better don't start asking questions around here. Excuse me, do you know if something happened in Shiring? I know we suffer because of the war, but the town never used to seem this grim and hopeless. No, oh, we wouldn't know. We are but pilgrims in search of God's miracles. And a saint who will heal my foot. And my eyes. But yes, Shiring seems to hold no miracles these days. We heard the Earl is punishing his people for his own entertainment. I heard so too. How is your pilgrimage going? Always moving forwards. And sometimes backwards, because of my foot. Good luck with your pilgrimage. God bless you, good woman. <laughs>